Hi all folks, this is Max from um, NexusSHacks.com. So I've got a review of updated an updated review of uh, Cyanogen Mod 9. Um, this is Android 4.0.3 uh, for the Nexus S, uh, the regular Nexus S. It's uh, version 3.4, and this is the uh, Nexus S 4G um, CM9 version 3.0. Um, so I I did review a long time ago when it was uh, um, one of the earlier versions and it was a little bit buggy and I was using the night lease. Um, I believe this is uh, one of the stable versions um, so I like it. I like it a lot. It w runs pretty darn stable. Um, let me run the uh, Nexus S 4G. I'm also running with Matrix Kernel version 17.5 which gives you overclocking. Um, if you probably know about uh, Cyanogen, then I'm not going to go over it, but basically you can change the launcher, um, you can get a bunch of themes, and uh, also you can go to performance and tweak your pr processor, which is my favorite thing to do. Um, I've got minimum CPU at 100 uh, megahertz, um, and also maximum at 1.46 gigahertz, and uh, let's see. The best governors, I would say, um, actually these are all pretty, pretty darn good. I really like IntelliDemand, Wheatley, uh, Lulz, Active, um, let me see, Lionheart, that's what I'm running here. Um, Lulz, Act Active is pretty good, that's what I've been running now. Um, should give you pretty, pretty good battery life along with really good performance. I'll actually do a test of uh, Quadrant real quick here. Oh, I did 2707. I'll do it again just just to show you. So this is at uh, Lulz Active. The one, the the quadrant score I got before was um, Lionheart, and uh, also while that's running in the background, um, let's talk. Let's go to my regular Nexus S. Um, this one I've had a little bit of problems at 1.466 gigahertz. Uh, well, what happened? Oh God, this demo fail. Um, so this one is gonna have to reset. Um, I think I've got it overclocked too much, and that's what's happening with a lot of the ROMs on my regular Nexus S. Um, but the ROM itself is pretty good. Um, it has nothing to do with my phone here. Um, just sometimes it resets, and uh, it depends on the governor you run. Um, the Nexus S is more sensitive. Well, if you have one of the sensitive ones, you might have one of those ones. You can overclock to 1.46 gigahertz on performance and have no problems. But obviously, I have problems with this one. Um, but I've actually found uh, governors that work pretty well. If I just put it on performance only, it runs pretty well. Actually, um, sometimes it reboots. But let's actually put it. Uh, I like a min max um, governor. I think that that one it's it's either min or max and the problem with this phone is at uh, certain voltages or at, at certain CPU frequencies it'll, it'll reset you know it's not because it's overclocking but um, so let me see here let's tweak this a little bit performance you might have to play with the uh, the maximum frequency I'm gonna set it to 1.3 um, and also you might want to check out uh, all these different governors. Try, try Salvage Zen, IntelliDemand, Wheatley, Lulz, um, ActiveX, MinMax. I would say to to be on the safe side, you can try MinMax, um, which won't give you the best battery life, but uh, it will give you overclocking. So I'll run a quadrant with MinMax, and that should actually not reboot. I've had it uh, not rebooting on 1.4 6 gigahertz. So I'll set that aside and I've got my Nexus S4G at Lulz Interactive 2738. At performance it gets about 2800. So this is a really good combination um, for those of you looking for great performance and also um, you know stability and development of um, Cyanogen mod team. CM9. Um, I think this is like one of the better versions now. So, uh, highly recommend it, especially on your Nexus S 4G. Um, if you haven't tried this ROM, definitely try it out. And I know a lot of you are running this already. 
and uh, you know this is a totally developers um, ROM um, CM9 CM Cyanogen mod ROM is like one of the first you know ROMs available for Nexus um, so you can't go wrong with that but I think we finally have something good here that's you know working out of the box everything just really smooth and uh, you know, actually that's pretty fast see how, see how the camera loaded up real fast um, on my other ROMs it might have run a little bit slower and no lag with the camera look at that oh that's nice that's really nice and you have the uh, the 4G buttons um, you don't get the custom like 11 12 toggles but I mean that's not a big thing huge thing and uh, I believe you do get uh, screen unlock um, let's go look at that real quick security lock screen screen lock face unlock um, let's just set it up for fun I actually haven't tried this so it's working um, real slow but um, this is just the speed you'll get on the um, um, my neck is starting to hurt um, but um, it's working I didn't get that face undetected error sometimes I get with some other ROMs um, but um, the, your phone should run pretty good if you can run it at, if you can run it at uh, 1.4 gigahertz um, use LOL's uh, LOL's active is it the governor and also you can try Lionheart's pretty good Wheatley's pretty good um, let's do a pattern real quick here let's see if face unlock works because I know for me um, the only ROMs that work with the face face unlock well is the uh, crossbones and codename ROM so let me try this one CM9 gets there put my face there oh what that is that hurts okay well um, face unlock it's not working so well but you know rest of the thing everything should work pretty darn well and I've been actually going through a bunch of ROMs over the weekend so um, a CM9 definitely 2671 at 1 1.3 gigahertz that's really good at min max so if you have any problems with resetting give uh, min max a try I've been going through all all of the governors and try some of the other governors too but min max should be like you know your your fail no fail you know to go governor for the regular Nexus S. Um, anyway, that was the review of the the uh, Nexus S 4G phones. Oops, I was getting phone calls. Um, that was the review of the CM9 for the Nexus S and the Nexus S 4G with uh, the governor. No, for with the Matrix kernel. Um, try those governors and uh, you know try the ROM if you haven't this is one of the better ROMs pretty darn stable and uh, don't use screen lock you don't need it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel here and also you can subscribe to our email list at nexusshacks.com uh, we alert you with uh, ROM of the week tips and what uh, app of the week and stuff like that once a week maybe twice a week um, but we don't share your email with anyone else and also, um, if you can hit that like button and then subscribe to me, that would be wonderful. Anyway, thanks, you guys. I'm going to go make more videos. I'm a little behind, so um, uh, please bear with me while I get back to everyone's messages because I just got back and, you know, um, <laughs> i got to go work. All right, see you all later.